welcome back to the channel once again and in today's episode we are looking at method of sections remember to solve trusses we have two methods we first talked about the method of what joints and the second method is method of sections so let's take a look at the method of sections so in cases where the force in only one member or the forces in a few members so if we want to consider one member or just few members of a truss then the use of the method of what joint become very what unwisely we cannot use the method of joint to we can but it very unwisely and we cannot stick to that so a more appropriate method is the method of what section if we want to determine force in one member or just few members the more effective way is to adopt the method of what section let's consider this trust if i'm to just determine the force in member gf so let's say f gf or member f c d if i'm just to determine the force in this member and i'm to go by the method of joint i'll have to take the joint one by one to know everything which is a lot of work so a more simple method is the method of what section and that one is very easy so this is what you do for the method of section anytime you're given a trust the first thing is to what find the reaction for that one is very necessary find the reactions and we know how to find the reactions from the previous videos you just consider the entire body the you draw the free body diagram for the entire body so something like this you get your upward reaction and what your horizontal reaction this is a ruler you get your upward reaction and you are going to use summation of forces to determine the reaction so we know about that when you are done with the reactions with the method of section you are going to section the part which is to be what determined are we good so for example in this trust looking at the section aa we we made a cut through the what the trust the idea here is that the question asked us to calculate for the force in member f h g and probably f b c so in a question you can be given an entire trust with many members and the question will ask you to just find the force in maybe two or three members find the force in member hg and bc and state whether the intention or compression in such cases you are just given a few what members so you have to adopt the method of section and what we do here is that we try to make a cut through the trust where the members of interest what are so here i'll make a cut through the hg and the bc so that i can see through what is happening are we good and upon making the cut i also made a cut through what bg so this is it part one after making the cut through the required what members i'm going to get this part when you make a cut this is the hg and the bg this is it and the bc2 you are going to have it this way as one part of the truss and the second part of the truss is also going to look at this look like this are we good yes so the cut is going to pass through the three what forces so assuming the question asks me to find the force in member f f e and maybe member what 
F C D. How am I going to make the cut? I am only interested in F E and C D. So I will try to make a cut that will pass through all these needed what members. So I can make a cut this way. There we go. So when I cut now, member F E is what available. Member C D is also what available. So if I want to find interest forces in member let's say bc and member what let's see fe so i am interested in member bc and member fe this is member bc and this is member fe so i'll make sure i cut through these two any other force that will be cut or any member that will be cut is also what needed so if I want to get BC and FE, I have to cut it this way. This is the first BC. I made a cut. Yes, it will cut through this and that before I get. So that I will draw the two parts and make analysis using one. The interesting part of method of joint is that anytime you're going to get two parts, are we good? And you can focus on only one, only one part for your analysis. For analysis so with this with this cut part one and part two you can focus on part one to determine the force in what hg and what bc you can also focus on the second part to calculate the force in um, the same thing the hg and the what the bc are we good it's it's very interesting I still have my part one and part two. Let's look at how we go by it. Any of the two parts can be used to solve the problem. As I earlier said, when you make the cut through the needed parts or through the needed members, you now consider any of the parts. So someone can choose to consider part one. Someone can also choose to consider part two. Remember, the answers are going to be the same. So you focus on one part. Make sure you cut through the needed members. So, for example, this cut will not solve for forces in member what? HI. No, because member HI is not what? Cut. And it cannot also make analysis for member AI. The only members that this cut will yield what? Solution is member HG, BG, and what bc because they are the what members that the cut was made through very good so you focus on what only one always i try to focus on the simplest one looking at part one and part two part one is very simple to make analysis as compared to what part two but of course you can use your part two but always try the simple one so let's consider part one for our analysis. Since we are interested in the force in member HG, that's FAG, we can take moment about point B, that's moment about B is what equal to zero. So now that you have your cut and your part, the analysis is the same as from equilibrium. You now apply your moment. So let's, this is an unknown force. This is what an unknown. This is an unknown. How do we get it? We now apply all the equilibrium equations. We take moments about a point equal to zero. We now assume x to be zero, summation of force on y to be what? Zero. You now apply them. The only interesting part is you have to know how to take your moment. You have to know your summations and you're good to go. Are we good? So if we want the force member HG, we can take a moment about what B so that we can make the what analysis. Because taking moment about B, this will what run towards zero. This will also run towards zero. Are we good? Because their moments are going to pass through the center. And the analysis will be only this and that. Are we good? Remember, this is an inclined force. We're also going to what? resolve it 
and it will be very simple. If we were interested in member BG, we could apply the condition at A. So what we are trying to say is that if we are also interested in the force member BG, we can also apply our moment at A, set so that moment at A will be what? Zero, because this member is interested. Because you cannot take moment at here looking for the force of BG. We can take moment at A to calculate for that. Don't worry, we'll solve plenty of examples and explain how. The main idea is to know that for the method of section as the name goes by, you have to make a cut through the necessary what? Members. And you apply to, you apply all the what? Equilibrium equations. And you are good to go. So if we are also to determine force in BC, this is member BC, we could apply the condition summation of forces on the X is equal to zero after having obtained the members. That are we good? It's very simple. Make your cut, calculate for the reactions with using the entire word structure, then you consider one part for your analysis. We won't spend much time on the method of joints. Let's check out the examples in the next episode. Very simple.